So there's a rumor out, right, that GTA 6 is going to be play to earn. And I really, I, I want to kind of go over both sides of this, okay? I've been looking this up for a little bit now, for a little bit, like a while. And I saw one video, which I'm going to show you right now, on, on TikTok of some reliable sources, but the comment section said otherwise. So let's, let's take a look here real, real quick. Gaming news. The new GTA 6 is going to be play to earn. According to insiders, in some missions of GTA 6, the gamer is going to get actual cryptocurrency. Twitter user Kerr Schmunk goes on to say in-game assets will also be on the blockchain. You'll be able to buy and sell cars and houses to other players, send and receive money, and uh, much more to be announced. Wouldn't it be funny if they made an in-game exchange and called it FTX? I think that's probably going to be canon now. Breaking. So now going over this, right? Let, let's 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 take a let's take a quick look at this. Now GTA being play to earn, which I don't think it's going to be. I at the forefront when I first heard this, I thought it sounds kind of like nah, that's not going to happen, right? Um, I thought more about it, and then I said, there's so much to do in GTA. There's so much to do, so much. And now, being having GTA be play to earn really doesn't sound that crazy. Of all the side missions that they have, all the different, pretty much all the different stuff that you can do, like you can actually create your own courses. Like, like there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of shit you could do in GTA, right? So play to earn really to me didn't seem like it was that far fetched or that far off. So, but what I, what I ended up do, doing was I actually looked at. Um, stuff online so reports suggest that gta 6 is set up to join the beer beery i don't know what the hell that even says play to earn gaming landscape by integrating cryptocurrency rewards this move would mark a monumental upgrade for, uh, from its successful pre predecessor gta 5 and then there's a there's a people may also ask here can we earn G money from gta 6 he then clarified that all cryptocurrency and related trading would be limited to the game with no real world connection between the assets. This statement completely de de debunked the rumor of GTA 6 being a potential source of income and all related cryptocurrency speculation. And then it's, G will GTA 6 have cryptocurrency? The video game publication Game Rant speculated that GTA 6 or whatever it may be officially be called. It will not introduce the real cri cryptocurrency, but instead might sim simply make cryptocurrency a metaverse, the butt of many jokes. So, I, <laughs> so there is, there is a couple pros and cons here, right? Um, one of the pros to this being a play to earn game is that people that empty their life into GTA 6 would actually be able to earn real money while doing it. I don't really know what that would look like. Um, maybe being able, as the video said before, being able to trade, you know, clothes cars like there's a lot of ecosystem that could be created in in there that that could really make a monumental change um essentially you know there could be like a metaverse type of cryptocurrency that you could turn into real money especially if you do like jobs for other people or for other you know like 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 there you can also so here's here's one thing right you can set a bounty on somebody so that I could see maybe getting some money in real life. I know it sounds kind of weird, but essentially in GTA Five, you can you can actually make somebody rob somebody else too. But that's more of that's more of an a uh, a computer player type 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 of thing. But <clears throat> you could actually set a bounty on somebody's head. Now I would say if this actually goes well with maybe Tom Clancy's The Division, like in Tom Clancy's The Division, essentially and The Division Two. Um, you can go rogue and have a rogue agent and go through and like, essentially they will be killing everyone in the lobby or just a certain team or whatever, but you get, you get more, you get more XP or whatever in the game. If you kill a, uh, an, a uh, rogue agent. So in GTA, if there's somebody that say like terrorizing the lobby or being a complete asshole, um, you could put a bounty on that person with maybe with real money and cryptocurrency. And you could kill them, and then you could, and then the person that kills them gets the money. If they did damage to them, then they would have to split the bounty. So, like, let's say player one, two, and three all did damage to them, but then play, player four finished them off. So the person that got the kill should get the most amount of money, and then the the other the other three players that got 
the damage should get some money. So like let's say it's like you know fifty bucks or a hundred bucks or whatever for doing that. You know what I mean? Um, you know, or you could just put a bounty on somebody you don't like. Um, that's the multiplayer application that I, that, that that I could see. Um, you know, maybe even you know you know making cars and whatever else. Um, but in reality, I think if real money is used in these exchanges. I think that, that the play to earn thing really wouldn't be insane because if you think about it, money is really just like, it's all digital. So essentially if let's say that the development team makes a car that's, that's available to buy for a limited amount of time, let's say 10 days, right? They make a Lamborghini that's, uh, that's, that's able, you're able to buy it for 10 days or you can earn it, right? <clears throat> Probably both because that, that would be smarter. Let, let's go with the earn route so that the play to earn makes more sense. So essentially, you go you go and you let's say you spend a hundred dollars to buy the car, and let's say fifty, let's say a hundred thousand people bought it, which that's what ten ten million dollars that that they made. Let's let's just say that right. I think a million people bought it, or a hundred thousand people bought it. Zero, yeah, ten 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 million. So so ten million for a hundred dollars, that's ten million dollars. So let's say they made ten ten million dollars. Now, someone could now trade that car in to somebody else for for eighty dollars let's say i mean they'll pay what it's worth right so you know let but let's say gta now takes a cut from it so like let's say the you know let's take let's say they take like five percent of every tra transaction that that happens on on their game they would still make money. They made money on the asset itself, but then they also made money on the transaction. So, if, so let's say you traded the, um, you know, let's say ten, let's say ten percent, because it's easier. Um, let's say you traded it for ninety dollars. So, five bucks, eight bucks, six, six and a half, whatever the math works works out to be. G GTA makes six and a half bucks, and you make whatever, and then, or you make. I, I, I said 90 bucks, right? So 90 bucks. Yeah. So then you, you make, you make a hundred bucks or you make, ah, uh, you make, <laughs> you make nine, you, you make $86 ish. So $87. The, the other person gets the car now. That to me is a sustainable ecosystem for that. But most of these cryptocurrency and these exchanges and FTX and whatever else that the problem was, is that the money was just being thrown into nothingness being thrown into the trash pretty much being burned almost F FTX. There was straight up fraud there because they pretty much just like they took the money that you and that you invested into their platform and they like did stupid shit with it. Either they spent it on stuff or they invested it in broken assets essentially in other cryptocurrencies or other crypto exchanges, which all failed. So, um, the, uh, the, the, the point to that story is, is that, with with money being exchanged in game to the company to to to, to sustain the company not 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 only that to to sustain the company but then to also keep the currency in game going like real life like that's the thing that a lot of a lot of these cryptocurrency games are missing there's some that are actually play to earn that are actually really good but there are some that are really shitty like there's really there's no way to make money not only for the company, but for the person that's like, that's not getting paid essentially. That's not getting, that's not getting paid out. So it just doesn't make sense. But, um, like I'm, I'm, my reference also is to, uh, I think it was called undead blocks, which I wanted to play. It looked like a pretty good game, but when I played the beta, it wasn't very good. So it was like, okay. But, um, I, I, I enjoyed the game itself. It had, it was, had a lot of glitches in it still, especially in the, in the beta, uh, they were like ready to launch that like in like a month or two. And I was like, this ain't this guys, this ain't ready. So, um, I personally think that there's no ecosystem, no financial ecosystem that really holds up the game itself, but I could see an application for it in GTA. So that's why to me, play to earn really wasn't that outlandish. And that's, that's what, that's what really turned me on to the whole thing. But the internet's kind of divided like, like we are on everything else. It, it seems like some people are saying that there is going to be cryptocurrency and there's other people that, that, that are not. I, I don't really know what source to trust, but it looks like 
uh, sports, sports Kita seems like they have like the actual, um, you know, the actual information, which makes sense. So I, I guess my, my point to this is, is that there wouldn't, it wouldn't be terrible if there was actually a play to earn way. And, you know, people that empty their entire lives into this, you know, you're not going to be a millionaire, but you know, you'll definitely be able to make a few hundred bucks a month or something like, like that to actually, you know, especially if you play the game a lot, like that's the thing. It's either you're trading your time for money or you're trading, you're, you're, you're leveraging your, your time for, for, for money. It's, there's no, there's no in between. So you play the game a lot. You get, you gather a bunch of stuff you spent, you spend your own money. Now you could sell it to people. If you're like done with the game, you know what I mean? Like you can sell your car to somebody. You didn't just like waste a hundred dollars on that car. You can get like $90 back. So that's essentially like the ecosystem I'm talking about. It's kind of like, re it's kind of like re real life where if I buy a table, I can go on Facebook marketplace and sell it. So it isn't go is it isn't a complete lost cause like I mean unless the server shut 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 down which is another thing too but that that's kind of what I think would have held up Warzone too it's if you were able to like you know if I'm done playing Warzone I could go and now I can sell all my stuff to you know to uh, to other people that want to play that want to play 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 the game um but yeah I mean that's that's just something I I thought about but it's you know at the end of the day that's I, I, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think that GTA will have that. I mean, I think it will be an actual monumental change, which is going to be a huge thing that everyone's going to want to catch up with, cause especially if people are going to be spending money to make money on the game. Other players like Call of Duty are going to want to do that 100%. I can Battlefield. Everyone's going to want to do that. I can guarantee you. They'll make their own game with some kind of currency that will probably be half-assed at first, but then it'll probably be, like, really good. So... uh you know, that, that's another thing too, is like, you know, the average Joe would be able to play the game and actually get real money versus like having to spend all their money and, you know, earn money in real life, you know, versus, you know, cause to me, I, again, I don't really find it to be a very attractive deal for me to have to spend my real hard earned money on something that like, isn't really that good. So it's like, if I can earn money in the game and earn money in my normal day job, or I can replace my income on my normal day, day job, it's like, that's, you know, that's a different story, you know? That could be that could be something too. Like you know, you could have like hit hitmen or whatever that come that like watch your that watch your like you know your business or something while you're gone at like school or something or you're gone at you know you're gone at like work or whatever you know and you have like a business or something that you have to like keep up and running in GTA. You know, it's like I don't know how a lot of this stuff works. I haven't played GTA in a long time, but that's just something that like it could really make a really good experience for everyone that plays it. And then um, it won't be such, you know, such a different game. So the, the the downside of it is, yeah, somebody could probably hack into it, you know, hack your stuff, get your wallet, get all your money. Um, the other flip side of that coin is maybe hacking the system in GTA because GTA is like notorious for being hacked, like not being hacked, but having like mods and stuff like that. So there could be ways for them to cheat the system and get, you know, get infinite cryptocurrency, get infinite money. Um, and just keep draining G, you know, keep draining GTA's bank accounts or Rockstar's bank accounts, which is possible. Uh, I'm not saying I want that to happen. I'm just saying that is a possibility. So, um, I, uh, I don't, <laughs> there's a, there is a good amount of downsides to it, but there's also a lot, a lot of upsides and which, which I, which I want everyone to kind of take into account. There's a lot of upsides to it. There's a lot of upsides. There's a lot of different ways that things could go well with this. Um, but I, at the end, at the end of the day, I don't think they're doing it. I, I, I just, I think it's just too much to, to integrate and then have to maintain, like they have to have their own like crypto experts on staff probably, which is cost a lot of money. There's like, I've seen so many jobs out there that have uh, like cryptocurrency expert in it. You know, it's like people are looking like they're paying like 200 grand a year, 150 grand a year to like, you know, no crypto. And you're just like, that's a lot for fucking crypto. But <laughs> you know, the people that know crypto are already rich in crypto. You know what I mean? they've already scammed enough people where, where they're rich in crypto, you know? So it's like, they don't need your stupid day job. You know what I mean? Um, not all of them, but, but a lot of them are. So, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's really, uh, that's really, that's really my, most of my take on this. I had a feeling that this is going to be kind of short. Let's see. I mean, we're at like 14 minutes. I mean, this is not going to be a long one. I don't, I don't really see anything else in GTA six. That'll, that'll kind of, you know, but I mean, we could talk about the, the stuff that I've seen, uh, the leaks and everything. 
uh, the cryptocurrency wasn't one of them besides that one video or a couple videos that, that, that I've seen. Um, I think G, I mean, GTA six, the budget on GTA six is what, like $2 billion, almost $2 billion. You know, that's, that's the, that's the most you you'll ever see in a, in a, in a video game probably for a long time. And there's, there's, it's, that is like a movie. That's like a big movie budget, you know, like that, you know, you know, it's crazy. You know, what's crazy. Well, I, I, I guess movies can only be, can only be really monetized once. If you think about it, like besides like, you know, uh, streaming services, DVDs and stuff like that, really a movie can only be monetized once, but a video game can be monetized plenty of times by putting in map packs, by putting in, uh, skins, weapon skins, cars, you know, different crazy stuff, different vehicles, you know, futuristic stuff. So I think, uh, I think that's actually, um, that's the reason why it's going to be $2 billion. I mean, I, I don't like what, what's the highest budget for a movie. Let's, let's, let's check. What's the highest budget for a movie? Yeah. I mean, if it's $447 million, million dollars. So four hundred. So what? So any, any any anywhere from four hundred forty-seven to four hundred sixty million million dollars in production costs. I mean, like Call of Duty, the video game, like does that, right? They they do that for like every Call of Duty, like that, and then they're making back, if not they're breaking even, and they're making back a little bit more, right? So, um, it's because they can monetize it almost infinitely because you know you get skins you get different cars you get whatever else like that's all monetizable so i guess you know i i, I guess it makes sense um but they'll, they'll they'll they will more than make that that budget back on gta 6 i almost bet you especially if especially if they they create some of the cool stuff that i think that they're going to put in there i mean it's it's going to be like oh it's it's going to be like it's own almost like it's own met, 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 metaverse at, at, at this point i mean it's it's gonna have it's gonna have some crazy shit in GTA Six, and you're I don't even know half the stuff that they have in there. But a lot of people have like said the graphics are gonna be better than Cyberpunk. Like now that it's like you know actually fixed, um, it's the graphics are gonna be amazing. You know your computer's gonna like enjoy the graphics. Your your computer's gonna get a boner from all the graphics. Um, so you know it, it's it, GTA Six is gonna be a big is gonna be a big game, and. You know, not just from the budget wise, but just from what they're gonna probably do. GTA Five was a big game when, when when it first came 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 out, but now it's like they have to go even bigger. And I, and I think they're gonna. What happens is, I think I think Rockstar is one of the only companies out there that really goes for longevity when, whenever they're making games. Like they they are making a game that will last you day like a decade at least, and the content that they're going to release is just going to be decades, decades. Like they probably have 50 to a hundred people working on certain like updates within GTA five and now hopefully GTA six. So like all the mini games that you have, like those heists that they put in, like it's that stuff is just going to be outrageous. And if there is going to be a play to earn, it's going to be even crazier. You know what I mean? Um, but I can't see you getting real money for like for like heists and stuff like that because you're not stealing real money, you know. So it's like that's the one thing I that like I you have to think about it logically whenever you think about like the play to earn aspect. You have to think about like as like a real actual like financial system. It's like how are they going to make money as a company and then supply people with money as well. The way the two the few ways that I described it are the best ways that they could approach this. Um, because there's, there, there has to be real money backing real money. You can't just have fake money backing real money. Cause then what happens is you'll have another FTX issue essentially, you know? So, um, I mean, all money technically is fake. That's not, you know, in, in your hand, if you think about it, but that's not, that's, that's a, that's a story for my, fin my financial channel. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I think this, this podcast is coming to a conclusion. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. I am pretty much tired. I've filmed six podcast episodes in the past two days. Um, so enjoy them while, while you can. I appreciate the support. I'm going to be on vacation next week. So I think the week of the 20 something, 27th or 21st or something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, 
we will uh, we will see you when we get back. Um, but I do hope you enjoy every short that's coming out. There's gonna be three posts a day for pretty much the whole time, the whole, whole entire time that, that that I'm gone. And then things will reschedule back as as needed uh, once I get back. So uh, we also got a cool collaboration go going on for you guys too. So if you're watching this far, uh, be prepared for that. Uh, it is a new headset, and I will not tell you the brand yet until I make the video. And I'll also be getting a new mic microphone. At least, at least I hope that's in the package too. Uh, the package is over there, in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, so a lot of big things coming to this channel. So if you are if you are liking the videos, this shit's only gonna get better. You know, my my speech, my posture, my room, the the, the studio that that I make will only get better, and that will be pretty much because of you guys. So you know, thank you, thank you very much for the support. I'll talk to you 